Now we're going to make a chip and dip. This encompasses all the different techniques that I have shown you up to this point. I've attached my bat. I have a very large piece of clay. Make sure it's nice and secure on your bat. It's a large piece, so we know that the wheel needs to be going medium. We push and pull to get it nice and centered. We push on the top to make sure it's attached. And then we're going to go into our standard centering position. We also know that this chip and dip is going to be nice and flat. It's going to be a wide piece, a lot like a plate. So we know that once we get it centered, then we know that we want to push at the top to make a nice flat bottom, a nice good base for our chip and dip. After I make a good base, we're going to make the chip and dip with the small bowl in the middle, the large bowl on the outside. So I'm not going to open in the middle. I'm going to open on the side. And then I'm going to slowly pull this out and out of the way. I'm not going to make the outer bowl yet because just like the rim on the plate, it's going to be very delicate and fragile and I don't want to risk messing it up. So I'm just going to pull that, kind of get that out of the way. I also pulled this out a lot like the bat ring with the sponge in my right hand, my left hand pulling towards my body. Then we can open this up. We're going to cut in, widen, pull up, this is for your dip. I will tell you from personal experience, it's kind of nice if the dip bowl is big enough just to put the whole plastic container in there. Make sure my rim is nice and round. And now it's time to pull the outside bowl. Now my wheel needs to be going a lot slower. That means that my hand movement will be a lot slower because I have to wait for the revolution of the wheel, remember? My right hand is very steady. I've got my elbow tucked in and I've got my sponge nice and strong against the wall. And now I'm going to compress. I'm going to compress the middle and I'm going to compress the outer bowl. You know it looks good like this but let's do that trick of just exaggerating what's already there. There we go, a chip and dip.